Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Timeline Custom Control from CloudScope. Now, we're taking a look at it on the screen, you can see what it's uh, all about. First of all, you can recognize this as the Twitter Timeline. We've got a little profile icon here, we've got the name, the screen name, date, the tweet, and also the retweet and the like information. All this information is coming from your data model, it's not coming from Twitter. Again, we're just reporting on the data that you've collected. So this is pretty interesting, right? That's very useful. But let's take a look at another alternative. Over here, we're taking a look on the right at the same information, but now with a lot more. We can see we've got images here within the timeline. We can see uh, quotes or quoted tweets. We can see when a tweet has been retweeted and we can see here it, when it's been a reply. So again, this is a much richer experience. And how do we do that? Well, let's go take a look at how we create this control. To create this control, first of all, let's drop one onto the screen. And then we're going to put some fields from our data model in place. So we'll put the author icon, the author name, screen name, created date, how many times this has been liked, how many times it's been retweeted, and the tweet text. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to map these up to the fields within our tweet status. So the icon, of course, the profile picture, the name, the screen name, tweet date, how many likes, how many retweets, and the tweet text. Great! And it shows up just like we'd expect. So you can see that's the first thing we have to do when we get started is to map fields from our data model into the control. Let's take off the title because it looks better that way. Now how do we get all that other data in? Well we've got this other field here called tweet JSON. Tweet JSON is like a big bag of properties about tweets. And if we put that on there and then we identify that as the tweet JSON, that's going to contain all that information about individual tweets in terms of the images, etc. Oh, and you're saying, gosh, where are those images? Well, let's take a look here. We can choose to display the images if we want to with an option here within the custom control. So by default, images are not shown, but if you want to, you can certainly display them. So this is a very, very rich control. It gives you a very effective way of displaying a Twitter timeline right within your Power BI report. Tons of features, tons of options in terms of how you display data. And uh, thanks for taking a look. Talk to you later.